Hey, everybody. I just recently got a comment that said, I'd love to watch you rebuild a pig skull. I thought, cool, I would do that if I had one. The next day, I started skinning a pig skull, and right in his nose was a bullet, and the back of that head was toast. So I thought, let's see if we can salvage it. I had called the guy that sent me the pig and said, hey, surprise, you shot it in the head, and it's a mess. He said if there's any way we can, he would like to see it rebuilt versus having a tusk mount. So this method is exactly what you would think. I'm just going to play jigsaw puzzle and glue it all together. Just as a quick note, this same method will work on any bone or any skull or any coffee cup or kitchen plate or anything. I am using the Gorilla Glue brand super glue. Anybody's will work. Personally, I like this brand the best. So, when you're gluing, I don't worry about getting a little bit of glue on the outside of the bone. I need it to stick and be hard first and foremost. So a little bit of sheen on the outside won't hurt anything because I come back and mop and glow and then everything will blend and essentially be the same finish. So. As you watch, I'm going to kind of discuss a few key points here that I think uh, is worth mentioning. So when you get a pig or any animal that's been, the skull's been damaged due to whatever, I would recommend boiling just a little bit less time than you normally do because there is some natural shrink that occurs and it's real easy to have pieces change shape in the boil and they don't go back together real good. That brings me to my next point. Always, always, always dry fit it. Meaning try and push everything together without any glue first. I know that's just common sense, but you'd be surprised how many times yours truly glued something because he thought he knew what he was doing and then I got to start beating it apart with a hammer. So dry fit it, make sure it's good, make sure the next piece fits on before you glue it and then move along. You won't get every piece of bone to go back in place. There's gonna be some sort of damage that won't get rebuilt. Don't worry about that. Make sure you tell your client that's the deal, but the reality is it's just a character piece. That's how that animal was harvested. That's what happened. Get it as close as you can, but don't beat yourself up trying to make it exact. Something else to mention here is that dry time is critical. So you need to work on a little patience. I absolutely lack this skill set, but it'll help you in the long run. Once you get a piece glued, I normally have a fan on it and I'm trying to get it just dried so I can move along to the next piece. That's the reason this video is so long and I'm running it in fast forward because it literally took an hour plus to put this thing together. All right, last note that I think is really important and this is a trial and error thing that I've done several times. So if you look at this pig, you can see just a little bit of oil on the top of his skull in a few places, which is natural for a pig. I'm used to it. I don't get too excited about it. But I've glued teeth in, glued skulls back together, and thought, hey, I'll just give it a quick reboil and get that last little bit of oil out of there. And what happens is your glue, I don't care whose brand it is, when you reboil a skull with glue on it, that glue will yellow completely. So you're going to have real obvious white and yellow portions where you've glued it together. Once you've glued something together, I would recommend not reboiling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take pride in what you do. Check us out on Instagram. That's brand new. I have no idea what I'm doing on there, but we're posting pictures of critters and skulls and all those fun things. Thanks again for watching.